Hello all, how you all are doing? Welcome to my another blogs. In today's blog, I thought of sharing with you guys my small garden where red rose has bloomed, accompanying the white rose. I am fond of roses and I am actually fond of the garden. So my little mini garden has always given me some kind of flowers. In today's blog, I thought of sharing with you all a healthy recipe which will include a spinach omelette and bengali style vegetable fish curry which will only not satisfy your taste but also will give you an option on days where you don't want to eat any masala you just want to have something very plain yet very delicious so let's start to prepare the omelette i have taken a spinach onion some tomatoes now i will break two eggs so usually in the breakfast i usually take two eggs if you want to take one egg that is also fine as per your choice you can take it now i will add salt i'll mix them well and on the other side in a pan i have greased some oil and i will put this batter here in this omelette i will add the quantity of salt is little more as because there are a lot of veggies so after adding everything i'll give it a good mix and i'll pour the batter into the pan so the purpose of sharing this recipe is because many people tends to eat eggs as a breakfast so it will give an option to them to add spinach and the taste is also remarkable if you do not try it you will not let it know so please do try before you make any judgment that how can a people eat spinach in the egg first try it i will also add some chili flakes on the top of it because i would like it little spicy i am not adding green chili on it because green chili doesn't give that taste what a chili flakes will give so i'll make it on a medium steam because it will take some time to cook it it cooks on a medium steam not on a high flame after i'll i'll get to know if the outer part of the omelet is cooked now i will flip it and your breakfast is ready to go you can also add cheese on the top if you are allowed to eat protein and fat breakfast in the morning trust me it tastes divine do try i will show you how the breakfast plate is look so my healthy breakfast is ready to go now i will prepare the fish to prepare the fish curry first i have fried the fish and keep it aside now on the same karai i have added little bit of mustard oil on that once it is heated well i am adding the cumin seeds and giving it a good mix once the cumin seed is heated well i will add the necessary vegetable and masala which i am going to show you now so to prepare this fish curry i have taken ridge guard potato and green beans i have cut them into long pieces and now the oil and the cumin seed has heated well i will add the vegetable into the oil and i will fry them for some time once the vegetable is fried then i will add the necessary masala once the vegetable is little saute now i will add the masala on the vegetables only so here i am adding half tablespoon of onion paste little bit of ginger paste some cumin powder some turmeric and salt that's it only with this masala we will prepare this fish curry also i have added little bit of green chili paste i am not adding any red chili or red chili powder because it is not good for your health and also in this recipe i am avoiding it so i have fried the masala till that masala smell has gone out after it has gone i am adding little water because it was sticking to the karai as i have used very less oil now i will give more water as per the gravy i want for the fish curry this fish curry has specifically needs to be little bit of gravy because it is because it is very light and trust me it tastes divine you should try this recipe if you are a uh, if you eat fish must try out and for this also i let me mention i have used katla fish so if you get anything like rohu or katla you can definitely give a try for this recipe you will like it for my any type of cooking i always use boil water so after i put the water once it simmer i have given some coriander leaves now i am adding the fried fish and i will wait to simmer it once it is boiled properly i will check the salt for this recipe as it is very light the salt needs to be perfect if the salt is little less you will not like it so make sure you taste it well before you take it out
also the portion of masala that i have shown you it is for two people or i can to be specific i have used four pieces of fish so for four pieces of fish you can use that masala as per the quantity you can increase or decrease so after the water started boiling i have checked out the salt and then again i have added little more before taking it out i will also add little bit of ghee to enhance the taste also for this recipe i have used specifically ridge guard some green beans and potato you can also use parwal and ridge guard it also give you nice combination it's a very quick recipe and it is done now after adding the ghee i am simmering it for some more time and it is ready to go it can be made within 10 to 15 minutes and here is my green fish curry is ready and let me know if you like it or not and if you like it don't forget to subscribe for today that's it we'll see you in next vlog till then bye and take care and don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friends it means a lot to me thank you